Today we're looking at a really unique design of hive stand. So, I mean, Adam's apiaries, we're doing loads of videos. It's taking much longer than Adam thought it would take. But we are here talking about these hive stands. Now, these are really, really cool. Tell me about why you needed a hive stand like this, but most importantly, tell me how you made them. So I have made the ones, uh, as you can see, um, in the previous video, and they, they, they work well, but I wanted something that I could um, add more to a lot easier when I have to keep building more every time I wanted to add a new hive or a new. And these, this rail system works really well because you can add, as you can see, multiple nukes, which will progress maybe into full hives next year and, and just keep adding. And, it, and it's very easy once you've got the, the initial setup. And also on the, it doesn't have to be perfectly flat. That, that's what I really like. So they're fully adjustable. So each leg is adjustable. Yeah. So you basically level out any inconsistencies. But what are these, what are these clamps like? What are they, where'd you get them? So they, I actually, it's not my idea. I saw it, I think it was the Aperist okay. side. Yeah, yeah. Very helpful, a lot of different styles on there. And this one, there, so these are scaffold jacks and he, he tells you basically exactly what to do and yeah. maybe just adapted it a little bit to, to suit the apiary. But yeah, as you say, you can put them as high or as low. Uh, it doesn't have to be perfectly flat. So, uh, and the weight of the hives will hold them in place. Yeah. Uh, and then you can just put a piece Eventually, I'll put a piece underneath and I'll strap the hive to that okay. over winter. So scaffold jacks, they are like, they're, they're solid, solid metal, obviously being coated in galve, galvanized metal. How much were these? Maybe seven, eight pounds oh, each, which is really, really cheap. Yeah. So you've got four, so you're making up kind of like 30, 32 pounds for the metal, maybe a couple of pounds for the galve brackets there, and then just the cost of the, yeah. the timber, which you can, you can get free if you've got any skips nearby. But brilliant, that's great. So that's probably cost you no more than say like 45 pounds for a yeah. big hive stand like that yeah and we had um we took a fence down so we, we had the rails oh, already which even is better. even <laughs> even more helpful but the other thing was i uh, you can turn them on on the other the other end to to give a bit more strength yeah, but stronger that way i just thought i wanted a bit more um surface area to yeah. to hold the hive um and that's why i've added a middle piece as well okay um just to give more support that there's not going to be a sag in the middle if i yeah, put yeah. a foot hive on there how strong are they? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't really want to test, but uh... yeah, pretty pretty strong. Yeah, uh, they, they they are really strong. You can tell. I know there was a bit of, I know there was a bit of wobble there, but you could tell. I was going to stand on it, but then I thought I don't want to break it. And I weigh quite a lot. Um, excellent. I love stuff like that. So so it's as simple as you you buy the jack, seven pounds each. Drill drill some holes, and then you just kind of like spin it around like that to get it. Yeah, oh, I like it. it. Sits on. And then look, as I'm, as I'm kind of like rotating that up there, it just, I'm adjusting the height of this. So if that's like slightly out of level, you just... Yeah, spirit level. And um, you can get that, that slight uh, decline of the hive as well. Is it yeah. it's supposed to sit with, uh, to let the water drain yeah, out? So the water tracks out. Love it. That's a brilliant design. Definitely, if you're interested in making yourself a hive stand, these look really, really cool. And they don't cost a lot. 